hey guys welcome to my channel it's your girl tyra m um yeah so if you are new thank you very much for watching this video clicking play just getting here i appreciate it thank you very much and for my subscribers that have been there for me thank you very much for sticking with me because i know i have not been the most consistent youtuber but i promise all of that is gonna change so um let's talk weight loss <clears throat> now it's just gonna be a couple steps right on how like the steps that i took to realize my like that i needed to get into this journey and like the steps i took after getting into this journey so First and foremost, let's give you some backstory. I'm originally from Long Island, New York, and since I was young, I was playing basketball. Played a little bit of I played a little bit of lacrosse, but that didn't like that didn't last long. But it was a great sport, anyways. So yeah, I just want you to know, like as a child, like I was really active, but I like as a child, I was also like really large compared to everybody else. Um, I'm six one currently, so I was always taller than everybody else. And I was always like, you know, more curvier and all that stuff, bigger than everybody else. But that's, that's fine, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a little curve, period. But, you know, I don't know. It's funny, like, looking back when I was, like, growing up, I always thought, you know, like, I'm the bigger. I was always a bigger person, so I was always thinking of myself as a bigger person. And it's like now when I look back to photos of me, middle school, high school, whatever, what I thought was like big and like super fat um, was just like, it's so crazy like how small I was like looking back. I was like, like I really just got down on myself and I just shouldn't have. I should have had more confidence. Of course, a lot of shoulda, woulda, coulda, but it's something that I realized when I was going through my weight loss journey and that just like played a role in how I looked at myself because a big part of how I looked at myself is why I began like gaining weight. So, right. So first step I took honestly was self-reflection. And I took that self-reflection because at a point in my life, I'm gonna show the picture. At a point in my life, I was, um, when it was like my freshman year of college. And right after I got out of high school, um, I came to Atlanta, Georgia. And then I was like, I was eating everything. First of all, I, like I had never really had like Southern food. And I was just eating everything, <laughs> like everything. There's a wing spot on every corner in Atlanta. And I was at every corner in Atlanta eating them wings, I promise you. So that was definitely something that I noticed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so being like eating, my eating habits was wild. My mental was wild. Everything was just wild but i had to learn like you know this is not what i want for myself and that was like a big part of my self-reflection was just looking taking a moment looking at myself and be like yo this is not what i want for myself going forward like i was just like there was it got to a point where like i was scared to go to sleep because like i don't know i was just like <sighs> my weight just affected me just so bad like, and it's crazy because not many people know this. And even my close friends, like, they know that my weight was a problem, but they didn't know how much of a problem it got for me. So, I would just be so scared. So, um, yeah. Whew. I'm gonna take a second. Let's gather my thoughts. Because I took these pictures outside of Spelman. And I was like, yo, bro, this is probably the biggest I've ever been in my life. And... For a long time, for them four years, because I'm a senior now, I'm about to graduate. Okay, so I'm a senior now, and it's like I was just like, I wouldn't, I don't even know, like, I would just like think to myself, like, wow, like when I graduate, is this how I want to, like, you know, it was okay. First of all, let me get a disclaimer out. This is how I felt about myself, and you're just gonna see a lot about how I thought about myself, and you know. It's it's gonna be it's gonna get really bad, but it's you know it's a part of my journey, and I had to realize like this way of thinking and this way of life that I'm living is just not great for me. So what I did was, um, when I first started just, like after that picture, when I first started like to try my weight loss journey, the one thing I realized was that I kept comparing myself, 
and honestly comparison is like the first step for failure because when you compare yourself to other people their body their shapes their everything how they move how they eat it's not going to get you anywhere because that's not how like what works for your body what works for you how you eat and all that stuff so that was one thing that i noticed was that i kept comparing myself and it just wasn't good for me so i was like you know what after like it took like a couple months for me to realize that Maybe almost a year for me to realize that I need to stop comparing myself to other people and how they move because it just doesn't work for me. So that was the first step, self-reflection. Then second step was honestly my eating habits. Now, if you know me, bro, if you know me, then you know I can eat chips for breakfast, lunch, brunch, supper, dinner, anything. Like, <laughs> you know that I can eat chips like four times a day and not eat anything else and be straight. And that was a problem sometimes you know like i don't i'm not even a sweets person like i won't go to the store and be like yo i need a snickers bar but i will go to the store and be like yo i need a bag of doritos or tell my friend like yo if you're going to the store give me some chips like it don't matter what kind of chips i will eat them like it could be tortilla it could be fritos corn chips i will eat them that's the sad part i will eat them but i was like you know what i can't do that <laughs> and then there was like this one incident at school where i would like go to the clinic and they were like your blood pressure is super high you might have high cholesterol you might have diabetes and the crazy thing is i only went for birth control so after that was another thing in that picture that i showed you guys at spelman that was like after like my second shot of depo and that also contributed to me just blowing up like blowing up, blowing up. so i was like you know what i have to get off depo because it made me gain so much weight and then aside like that in addition to my eating habits it was just already all bad so i was like you know what gotta stop then that was step two, okay? So that was food. So we had step one, self-reflection. Step two, food. Step three, exercise. Now, from young, I was playing basketball and sports, and I was pretty active. So, like, you know, exercising was never really a problem for me. Of course, like, starting was a problem because, you know, I get lazy. Everybody gets lazy. Everybody procrastinates. But me, I get lazy, lazy. Like, ah, it's luck. So I was like, you know what? All right. We just got to jump right into it. And then when I would jump right into it, I would try to set unrealistic goals for myself. And um, it was like to a point where it's like, all right, so it's May 4th right now. May 4th is my birthday. That's the first day I thought of. Anyways, so it's May 4th right now. And by July, I need to lose 50 pounds. That's how I would think. And obviously, that's realist unrealistic saying it out loud. But that's how I would think. So that's how I would try to exercise and try to move. So it got to a point where I would exercise so much that I would get headaches because I was just like going to the gym like three times a day, like trying to lose weight. And I was like really damaging my health. Like it was just such unrealistic goals I was setting for myself. So I was like, you know, what? I have to stop that. So that was step three is exercise, right? And the crazy thing is with throughout my weight loss journey, this is just like the first try because I realized how large I got. But then afterwards, I would like take a break. I would get really lazy. I would take a break. I'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to lose the weight. It's not going to happen. So I would just stop. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to stop. I'll try again next time. So it would be like months of breaks. So I'm just going to fast forward. <laughs> so fast forward to probably my junior year going into senior year i thought to myself i did a little self-reflecting again and then i realized you know like i had to stop comparing myself obviously it took really long for me to realize that i had to stop comparing myself so once i stopped comparing myself and realized i need to do what's right for me um when it came senior year i was like you know what when i graduate I want to be able to look in the mirror, take grad photos and take pictures with my friends and not like think negatively about myself because I don't know if you know me or if you have ever taken a picture for me or like if my friends ever taken a like took a picture from me, I would take a bunch of pictures, maybe like 30 pictures 
and I wouldn't post not one because I would find something wrong in every single picture. I'd be like, all right, yeah, this picture looks great. My face looks great, but my neck looks chunky. All right, this picture looks great, but my love handles. This picture looks great, but my tummy's sticking out. Like everything, like I would find something wrong with the picture and I wouldn't post. And that's why like it took me a really long time to post pictures on Instagram. And then I would only post selfies because I was like, you know what, only my face looks good. My body does not look good. And I would just get down on myself and it was so bad for me just so bad for me because it got to a point where I would just like cry. I was just like, I literally would just cry because I'm like, yo, like I'm just so big. I'm never going to lose the weight and I hate how I look. And it, just, it became a self-hatred kind of thing. And it it was like affecting, it was, it was affecting myself and other people because I was just like, yeah, oh my gosh, you look so great. I wish I looked that great. And you know, you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the Debbie Downer or the person that's always like, wow, yeah, you guys look great. I'll take the picture. I don't want to be in it because I'm fat. And fat is an F word. We don't say those words. Please excuse the noise. Anyways. Yeah. Like, you know, I was just like, I was just get down on myself. And it was just horrible. So after that, I was like, you know what? I have to start doing something. And when COVID first broke out, obviously this is a big fast forward from freshman year to senior year to COVID, right? So when COVID first broke out, I was home. I went, okay, I went home for a spring break in March. I was supposed to go home for a week. I went to New York. I ended up there for three months, but you know, things happen. So I ended up there for three months and then I was like, yo, since I'm inside the house, let me just work out. So I'd be downstairs, like in my mom's place, just working out. And just like taking pictures of my progress and all that stuff. And of course, I'll show you guys the pictures and videos and stuff. But I was just take pictures of my progress and stuff. And it got to a point where I was like, okay. Yeah. I like how it looks. All right, let's keep it up. So then once I seen like how I like how I looked, I was like, you know, all right, let's keep it up. So then I was keeping it up, keeping it up. And then I don't know where I just stopped again. So that was in like April, Mar April, May, March, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. May, June, July, right. So in June, I went to Atlanta. Um, I went to Atlanta, I was staying with a friend and then I was like, you know what, senior year, senior year is starting. Um, I wanna look good. I wanna look good my senior year, you know? So I was like, all right, let's take these pictures. Let's take these videos. Let's just, let's like record me working out and all that stuff. And I had, when I came out here, I still had my gym membership. That's gone now. Cause I realized going to the gym to me was just like a, a pipe dream. It was just like, yeah, I'm going to the gym. Let me take a picture of me in the gym. But um, that's really what I would do. I would just go and take a picture of me in the gym, get on the treadmill for like 20 minutes take another picture oh my god I worked out like it, was, it became a, a thing to just show people and I was like that's not really helping me so I canceled my gym membership that and I was broke but we're not gonna talk about that so I canceled my gym membership and then after I canceled my gym membership I found a bunch of things like fitness um I hope those were fireworks <laughs> but um <laughs> fitness uh like i don't i want to say pamphlets but that's not the word like uh the programs boom fitness programs i found a bunch of fitness programs that i liked so i was like let me try them so i was purchasing a bunch of fitness programs that i know i could download the pdf follow it so the first one i started with i believe it was like ak fitness and that that is really what like set the ball in motion because it just helped me so much. And another thing I like to do is I like to walk. I like to see scenery. So when I was at my mom's, she lives in, um, she lives on Long Island and there was like a bunch of nice houses. So I would just walk and like see the houses, the doors and all that stuff. Cause I was really interested in it. So that like added to me wanting to go walk. Like that gave me motivation and it just like made it better for me. Like just seeing beautiful things while I'm walking. It just took my mind off of like, you know, I'm working out. 
you, if you like if you get it so after that i was like you know what okay so then when i got to georgia i would walk because where my friends stayed like the apartment complex was beautiful and then if i like go down there was like a lake go down the street there was like a lake beautiful houses so it made it better so i was like let me just walk so i just kept walking kept walking and then when i found that ak fitness it was like yeah I like this because I can walk. So it had me doing a lot of cardio to begin with and that just um, that just added to it. And then after I was like, you know what? I gotta incorporate some better eating habits. So honestly, it's a little secret, okay? Spinach, spinach. Um, I guess that was just like my, that was like my, I don't know, my go-to. I put spinach in everything, my breakfast, my drink, of course, I mean smoothies. My breakfast, my smoothies, my dinner, my lunch. Like, I would put it on a sandwich. I would put it in an omelet. I would put it in um, spaghetti. Like, I would put it in everything just to make sure, like, I had a vegetable. And I know this probably sounds like, what the hell? Like, what? But, I don't know. Spinach doesn't have really a taste. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put spinach in everything. So I put spinach in everything and it just made it better for me for some reason. And I was also, I was eating good. I wasn't eating like ridiculously. I did try some intermittent fasting for a while that, that lasted like a week and a half. You know, sometimes, sometimes things happen and you can't always like follow that time period. So I stopped that because I just, I started to work and I would work overnight and I would sleep really late in the day. So I was like, you know what, I'm obviously not going to be able to keep up with that. So I just stopped that. But I was still trying to maintain good eating habits. I'm not going to get into exactly what I ate because I'm not going to lie. I was still eating wings and chips, but I was moderating. I was watching how much wings and chips I was eating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so like once I got into that habit of like walking and exercising in a like a respectable manner, like that wouldn't damage my health and wouldn't bother me physically, then I was like, okay, yeah, I like this. And then I started to like see the difference in the scale. And you know, it's like you you'll see the difference in your body first and then you'll see the difference in the scale. But when I was seeing the difference in the scale, because when I started, I was at 341. Right now, I'm at 314. And I'm getting closer and closer to my goal, which is being out of the 300. And I would like, in, like setting a realistic goal for myself, I didn't set an end date. I just knew I wanted to get out of the 300s. And that made it, that made it easier for me to follow, in a sense. Instead of saying, hey, I need to get to 290 by next February. Because that was just, it just put a lot of pressure on me and I didn't like that because that, I feel like putting pressure on myself made me feel, made, like gave me a reason to be lazy and be like, you know what, I'm not going to accomplish that goal. I'm not going to accomplish that date. So let me just, let me just chill. Let me just eat whatever. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do that. So I was like, you know what, I want to be out of the 300s before graduation. Something like that. Right? So I was like, all right, that's great. So then that's something I'm still doing now and I'm still working on it. I'm still getting to that. But another thing is step four, confidence. And I say that because having confidence in yourself, it has to start with you. Like nobody's going to be like, all right, Tyra, wake up. It's time to go to the gym. Like, you know, like it's time to wake up and it's time to go work out. So having that confidence and believing in myself and knowing that I could do it, that just that just added to it because like seeing it, seeing is believing. So seeing it, I was like, yo, I, I know I can do this. I'm clearly doing it. So I know I'm doing something right. So I have to just keep going. So after that, I was like, all right, bet. Let's go. Like, it's like, it's like, I don't know. Like now it's just like, I look at the scale and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, yo, I, I like what I see and I'm gonna keep doing it because I know I'm just gonna keep liking what I see. And it's not even like, I, I need to be like a stick figure. It's just like, I need to be at a place where I like what I see and I can present myself and be confident in my appearance and be confident in myself. So that's definitely what I just, that's what I, that's where I'm getting to now. I'm confident in myself now. I know that I can do it, but I know like there's still some work to be done because sometimes I'll still look at some pictures. Like I'll post some pictures, but I'll still look at some pictures and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, you look a little 
double check you in the right time. But you know, it's like, it's, it's just easier for me to just be like, you know what, I'm just gonna post it. Oh, well, who cares what people think, right? Who cares what people think? Um, so yeah, like now it's like, I look in the mirror and I'm like, yo, I really did that. I went from like a size 18 in pants to a size 16. I went from 341 pounds to 314. And I can say that proudly and freely because before I wouldn't even say my weight. I'd be like, yeah. My, my mom would ask me, how much do you weigh? And I'd be like, yeah. So how was your day today? Next subject, like don't ask me that. But now it's like, yeah, girl, 314, what's up? Period. But um, yeah, man, like just definitely those four things, self-reflection, food exercise confidence you gotta you gotta know like this is what you're doing and this is what you need to do and all that stuff well this will work for me so i don't know this might help somebody else but this is definitely what worked for me and i'm proud to just be able to like be in the camera and say this right now so yeah i don't want to drag this video out too much but i just want to just give you guys a gist of like what's been going on with me and how like i got to where i'm at where i am now and yeah like even like and the crazy thing is when i was building my confidence i was like yeah i have to find stuff that i like to do that just like you know that give me a reason to go out and do it so one of the things that i found that i love to do and i found it while i was going through my weight loss journey while still going through it is pole dancing um so i take pole dancing classes in atlanta and it's one of the best things like it just gives me like i'm able to go and dance and just like learn choreography and feel sexy in my body and learn like you know it, it's just like you know pole dancing is not just oh being a stripper and taking off your clothes but it's also it's an art form and it's a form of exercise so doing that and like exercising that's what i like i like doing things like it's just like i'm doing it because i love it but i don't like I'm doing it and I'm exercising. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like pole dancing, learning choreography and stuff. It's like, I love doing this. Oh yeah, I'm exercising. Like, you know? So it's definitely like finding something that you love to do that also like gives you a reason to like work out or be physical and be like in shape and fitness and stuff. Amazing. Like 10 out of 10 recommend. Like find things that you like to do and step outside your comfort zone because that's definitely something that I did. But yeah, pole dancing is going to be a whole nother video because I definitely recorded my first video to my most recent video and you can see the change. So anyways, I hope that this video helped somebody and reads like spoke to somebody. But if it didn't, you know, win some, you lose some. I don't know. It's just this is what worked for me and I'm glad that it worked for me because I'm glad that I'm happy in my body now. So yeah if you got through this video thank you so much because i know it's long but i appreciate you for watching and you know please like subscribe and comment and let me know of any other fun activities that you like to do and maybe i'll try them who knows bye guys